Hola, hola. Hola, hola, everyone. I'm just waiting to make sure that we are getting on. There's a little delay. So I'm just waiting for everyone to show on. Okay, great. Oops. Hola, hola everyone. <laughs> So that's my phone. I just want to check everything through the phone as well. That's where I'll be able to see your comments. And welcome to this week's lesson on Live Life Your Way. We are on lesson number 11. And we're going to be continually working on developing our third eye and our intuition. It's something that you've seen. This is now part four of this series. And... Um, it's important that you take the steps like one, two, and three, and four, and watch the videos and do the stuff so that it's easy. You know, I see a lot of times that people try to go from zero to one right away, and that doesn't work. Okay, awesome. So I'm excited to be here. I'm just going to make sure that everything is working fine. It looks like everything's good. Okay, so today... I have my paper here and I have the pledge that we're going to be reciting in a moment. So today you're going to need the three index cards, okay? And I just realized I left mine somewhere where I don't know where they are. So I'm going to improvise. Um, if you do not have your three index cards, that's okay. Um, take a piece of paper. Rip it into three equal place, three equal sizes, and write yes, no, and maybe. We're going to need that for today. Okay? Awesome. And just be calm and centered as much as you can. Um, I'm really excited to be here and do this with you. So let's recite our pledge. I pledge that from this moment on, I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. I will be kind to myself. I will love myself in every state that I am in. I will invest in my personal growth. I say yes to myself and I completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to attract all good into my life. Great. And you can get this pledge. You can get this on my website at Miracles Within Us. Um, dot net backslash pledge if you sign up to get the emails um, of the pledge so you get this video every week in your email just in case you're not here you can get that on my website again miracles within us dot net backslash pledge and you'll be able to sign up there and get all the juicy video content on there and the latest information on what's going on with the pledge so this week we're doing part four. So we're going to be developing more about how to receive intuitive messages. And I'm here. I have my aunt's dog here and he's just like staring at me. He's the cutest thing ever. Um, I mean, I might show him later on at the end of the video so you guys could see him. He is so cute. Uh, he's just staring at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> so that's so cute. Okay, great. So let's activate our third eye before we begin. So first, let's start bringing our attention into our hands to activate our space. Okay, we're now channeling the universal energies into our hands to help awaken our third eye. Okay, so let's we're now channeling it into our hands. Okay, great. Now put your hands in prayer position. And now slowly bring them apart. And you could feel the energy. You could still feel the energy of them here. Okay, so now just pull them a little bit further. Right, and you should be able to feel, and this is you channeling the universal energy. Okay, wonderful. So now we're channeling the energy into our thumb, placing our thumb on our third eye area, which is a little bit above the eyebrows, right, this area. 
And we're just allowing now our energy, the universal energy, to flow through our arms, through the finger of the thumb, into our third eye to feel this awaken, right? We're awakening it, we're activating it. And once you start doing this all the time and you open your third eye permanently, then you won't have to do this step. Okay, this is to help open your third eye and to activate it so that it is so you could get the clarity of messages. So this is just going to allow that and I could feel my third eye getting like all this electricity kind of electric feelings, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So let's see. Okay, now you could remove your hand and you might still feel a little bit of tingling, which is great. Good. So now you have your cards, the yes, no, and the maybe. I don't have mine, so I'm just going to use this for now. And we're going to take the three cards and you're going to place them so you do not see the words. So you're going to place them that so you do not see the words and then you're going to shuffle. Just shuffle them. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay. Good. So now you don't know what's yes, what's no, and what's maybe. Okay, great. So now you have that there, and I'm going to do this pretty quickly. If you feel that you, maybe this is too fast for you, I would advise you to watch videos one through three. Okay, this is video four. I would advise you to do one through three, okay, um, so that you can be really active in this. And the way that you'll get that is by going to my website. Okay, great, and signing up for the pledge. So now this is going to be a fun game right and we're going to ask first we're going to ask questions that we already know the answer to so that we can start trusting the our intuition and the guidance that we're receiving you know what i've seen a lot of people do is that they want to build their intuition and they're asking all these combined questions and questions that aren't yes or no right now we want to use questions that are yes or no response yes no or maybe response okay so we're going to use those type of questions today and questions that we already know the answers to the reason why we're doing that is to build on the trust of our response and what our body is telling you because you're learning a new tool so it would be hard to measure something right it would be hard to measure your intuition if you don't have um the answers beforehand so right now, I want you to take in a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. Now we're centering ourselves. And now I want you to ask a question, right? And ask the question, is my name Melissa? Right? And feel the response in your body. Just say, is my name Melissa? And feel the response in your body and now pick the card that you feel is the response. So the way you do that is like this is the card. I hope you can see this. This is the cards, right? And then you place your hand over the card without touching it. Okay, and you feel if there's a pull. Right. You see if there's tingling sensation, you will feel maybe some people will feel it in their third eye. Some people will feel it in their body, depending on the way that you learn, depends on how you're receiving messages in divine. OK, so you want to see, do, do you feel something in your hands? Do you do you feel that? And then you go from card to card. Right. So the yes, no, and maybe whatever card and the one that you feel the most pull then turn it over and see if it was the right response. Okay? And you're going to do this. We're going to do this a few times. So, you know, pick one. Put your hands over the cards. Take a moment. Now pick one. All right? Don't pay too much. Don't, don't get stuck in it. Just pick one. You want to start trusting in your intuition. Intuition is always our first response. Everything else that comes after is our mind talking to us. So you feel, 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 oh, this one. Okay, oh, this one. So did you get the right response? <laughs> if your name's Melissa and you got a yes, then you got the right response. If your name isn't Melissa and you got yes, then that means you need to just build more in trusting your intuition. So then this is just a game. Remember, we're playing a game. 
And as we, as we begin to play, we open up our channel even more. Okay, so now you may want to pick another name. Let's say Christopher, right? So now put the cards down, shuffle them, right? If you feel that your third eye is closed, go back, open it up, right? You may need to do this if you don't feel the hands are active, right? And you do it really quickly. Go channel that energy into your third eye. Okay, wonderful. Now you feel it again. Shuffle the cards and now ask your name is ask yourself a name. It could be any name. Let's say I'm gonna use Christian for right now. Is my name Christian? Right? And then place your hand over the card. You just you're asking, is my name Christian? And you put your, your hand over the cards like we did before. Right? For each card. And you see which one has the most pull, and the one that has the most pull, turn it over and see if you got the right answer. Now continue to do this, and I would advise that you do this every day, right? And then once you see that you got, you're getting accurate responses, meaning um, let's say you get five in a row correct, then you're done for the day, great, go do something else, don't overwork it. Okay, and then next week we'll talk more about how we can start asking questions that we need answers for. But it, it was only going to work if you practice. So I know that I'm asking for a lot, right? It's only maybe a few moments um, for you to go and start building your intuition. And let me tell you, this is so cool because once you know how to do this, you can then use choices. You could use index cards and write three options. Let's say you're deciding what to do between two, three topics or three projects to move on or maybe it's three people you're dating, right? And you want to see which one you want to work with and be with and all of this stuff. This can help you because you're letting your intuition guide you and your intuition is always connected to your divine your purpose and your path. So it's always going to lead you on your growth. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I do not recommend for you to go do that now. We'll play with that next week. Okay, on part number five. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to be testing out our, our responses and you could use it with name, ages, locations. Am I in, you know, um, you know, let's say, am I in the United States? Am I not in the United States? Am I, you know, and play around and see what answers if you're getting the right response and be kind to yourself. Have fun with this. This is meant to be very playful and fun. Okay, don't get stuck in your head trying to get it right. This is one of the easiest ways that you can build on your intuition and have accurate things that you can see in a physical because a lot of the times what I've seen is that we don't have the physical part so we don't believe or we can't really fully trust in our intuition and this kind of eliminates that part and it puts a more physical thing a tangible thing in front of you so welcome to all the people who are joining hi say hi as you come in and remember to ask the questions for you know, the yes, you want to ask questions that are yes, that have a response of yes, no, or maybe. Okay, yes, no, or maybe. It's, you, you know, um, you don't want to ask a question like, is it in my highest interest to go outside or stay inside? That doesn't work. You want to know why? Because you ask two questions, so then you're going to get a maybe response there. Or you're going to pick it, you're going to ask it more than once, and you're going to get all of these different responses. Because you ask actually two questions. Is, am, is it in my highest interest to stay inside? Is it in my highest interest to go outside? Those are two questions if you break it down. If you, so you want to be very aware on how you ask a question. It's just one thing so that you can get the clarity that you need with the yes and no and maybe response. 
So I had a lot of fun doing this with you. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm trying to keep them nice and short so people can go through them and not feel as if like, oh, this is a whole lot of work to listen to. Remember that if you share this video, you get entered to win a one hour coaching session with me where we work on strategies for you to accomplish your goals. So go ahead, hit the share icon on this video, share it on your page, share it wherever you want. And every time you share it, you get entered. So if you share it five times, guess what? You got entered into the drawing five times. <clears throat> so I really send you all lots of love, lots of blessings. I'm really excited. I hope you have a lot of fun. Leave comments if you have any questions. Feel free to leave comments. Even if the video isn't live, I still check the comments and I'm responding to them. And I want to let you know that for those of you, well, those of you who are in New York, or even if you want to join virtually, I am doing my next event, Dare to Break Free from Karma, where we release all of our attachments. We're going to do a clearing and we're creating new possibilities for the year 2017. I will have the information below. If you are on my Facebook page, Miracles Within Us um, Facebook page, you can hit the sign up button and it'll take you to see all the details on this event. And for those of you who are not in New York or cannot make it to the physical location, you will be able to join virtually and get the experience. And there will be a Q&A session that I will be doing with those who are live um, that are watching on the computer or through their phone. So I never have done that before. I'm really excited to have that option for you. So I look forward to seeing you there. And um, until the next time, I love you unconditionally. Namaste. Have a blessed week.